B1, B2, English story About London London is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. People travel from across the globe to visit and marvel at its beauty. London is not only the capital of England, but it is also the capital of the United Kingdom, which consists of England, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales. London is known as a cultural melting pot where people come to live and work from around the world. There are over 300 languages spoken in London. Greater London's population is growing and is now at almost 9 million people. As a result, the streets and transport are getting busier and more and more tower blocks are being built to accommodate the rising population. However, the City of London is actually very small and has a population of just over 9,000 people. The City of London is often simply called the City or more locally as the Square Mile. It is located on the north of the river and includes St Paul's Cathedral, the Barbican Centre and the Museum of London. There are currently 32 boroughs in London. These boroughs were created by the London Government Act 1963. Twelve of these boroughs are classed as Inner London boroughs and include Westminster, Lambeth, Camden, Lewisham, Greenwich, Hackney, Hammersmith and Fulham, Islington, Kensington and Chelsea, Southwark, Tower Hamlets and Wandsworth. Many tourists flock to the centre of London and enjoy Soho and the surrounding areas. But London has lots of other interesting places to visit. Hampstead, in North London, is known for Hampstead Heath, a beautiful park overlooking the city. Hampstead Heath is one of the biggest green spaces in the city and is over 790 acres. Famous author C.S. Lewis lived close to the area and it is thought that the heath was the inspiration for his stories, The Chronicles of Narnia. The heath also has over 300 ponds, three of which you can swim in. One pond is ladies only, one is for men only, and the other is for mixed swimming. The Parliament Hill viewpoint at Hampstead Heath is one of the most beautiful views in London. It is often used in films and TV shows and it is a great spot to sit and have a picnic. Another beautiful area of London is Greenwich. Greenwich is situated in south-east London. It is about 5.5 miles from the centre of London and is easily accessible 
on public transport. It is famous for its maritime history, markets and park. Greenwich is mostly famous for GMT, which stands for Greenwich Mean Time. GMT, or London Time, is the global standard for timekeeping. You can see GMT in action at the Shepherd Clock at the Greenwich Observatory, which is situated in Greenwich's beautiful park. London is home to many famous people. If you walk around the streets of the city, you will often see blue plaques on the side of buildings. The plaques will give details of who lived there, when they lived there and for what they were famous. One of the most famous places in London is the crossing outside Abbey Road Studios. The crossing was made famous by the Beatles. Traffic is often ground to a halt outside the studios as tourists are eager to take pictures of themselves copying the famous Beatles album cover. London is popular for its cultural offerings. It has hundreds of theatres, museums, nightclubs and galleries. In the West End alone, there are 39 operating theatres and throughout Greater London, there are many more which produce world-renowned shows. Popular museums for tourists in London include the National Portrait Gallery, the Victoria and Albert Museum, the Imperial War Museum and the Natural History Museum. If you're into clubbing, there are thousands to choose from some of the most famous are Fabric, Heaven, the Ministry of Sound and Printworks. Although public transport is relatively good in London, you might prefer to travel by taxi. London's black cab drivers have to pass a special test before getting their licence to drive around the city. It's called the Knowledge of London. It is known to be very difficult to pass and can often take drivers three to four years to remember all the facts they need to know. London isn't just about visiting Buckingham Palace the Big Ben and Soho, it is also home to several UNESCO World Heritage Sites, including the Tower of London, Westminster Abbey, the Palace of Westminster, commonly known as the Houses of Parliament, and St Margaret's Church. If you prefer to spend your time in nature, then you will love the UNESCO World Heritage Site, Kew Gardens. It is a huge park and gardens and was opened to the public in 1840. Situated only 30 minutes from central London, Kew Gardens is a must-see for the green-fingered. There are so many things we could tell you about London. This just scratches the surface. Have you ever visited London? If so, what was your favourite thing to do in the city? Tell us in the comments below.